Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this Monday morning, the last Monday in November. And uh, overcast, calling for rain and snow today, lightly. And, uh, well, here we are. Beautiful day to be alive. And we go for a walk down to the river. How was your weekend? We had uh, good church service yesterday. I hope uh, you were able to attend or at least watch it online. It's uh, still available on YouTube. Actually, it's going to be right below this link. Uh, so if you're watching this and you want to catch the service, then uh, just click on the little button right below that says uh, Church on the Hill. The uh, label on this uh, video and uh, that'll take you to all the Church on the Hill videos and you'll be able to find the uh, online service yesterday. Well, the river has come up a little bit since Thursday when we were here last. Just a little bit higher, isn't it? Look at that. I used to walk out on the end there and now that end is underwater. Okay, so I'll stand over here. And oh, there's our duckies. Just gently swimming away. Oh, coming back to me. I don't have any bread for you. I never have. But hey, I'm here and I'm talking about Jesus. So maybe you guys have some sort of affinity to your creator as well. I don't know. But uh, here I am. All right. Ah, yes, God is God, and we are going to read his word. So this morning, I'm going to invite you to grab your Bible or your Bible app, whatever you got, and uh, let's go to the prophecy book of Isaiah. And uh, go to chapter 26, Isaiah 26. I'm going to read just a, a couple verses here. Verse 3 is uh, quite well known. But I wonder if you've ever meditated on it, like really pondered, kind of just sat on it and let it really soak in. I'm going to do this here. Because it's so, so, so applicable to our day right now. Isaiah 26, verse 3. You will keep him, or keep in perfect peace, sorry. I was going to the old uh, King James default, right? You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. You will... Keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. It goes on to say in verse 4, Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. So, one of the keys to finding perfect peace is even perfect peace, obviously, in the Lord, it has, that's the only place to find perfect peace, because He is the rock eternal. So your only real guaranteed peace, everything else in this world is temporary, everything else in this world can and will fail you eventually, but the Lord Himself is the rock eternal. So there's number one. You want peace, you gotta, you got to trust in the Lord. That's just, there's no other way. And, but there's a, there's a great little line in here that just jumped out at me this time. Those whose minds are steadfast. Reminds me of the book of James. How, when it talks about being a person of faith, it talks about that steadiness, about not allowing your mind or your heart or even your vision to be tossed around by every wave and every whim and every post and every update. And friends, trust in the Lord with all your mind 
Let your mind be steadfast. When I hear the word steadfast, I think of concrete. Let your mind be steadfast in the Lord. Regardless of what's happening, everything you see, you hear, you feel even, that's fine. But you keep your mind, by decision, steadfast, embedded in the concrete of Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the rock eternal, that concrete foundation that we have. So keep your mind on Him, and yeah, you know, watch the news and whatever, you need to stay updated, I get it, but let all that stuff bounce off the concrete. If it fits to the concrete, fine, but if it doesn't, let it slide off, because our peace, your peace, will only come if your mind is steadfast on the Lord who is the rock eternal. Father, we thank you that we know the truth. We thank you that we know him who is the truth and the life. And Father, we choose today, we choose today to allow our minds to be settled anchored in you and the rest of it come what may but Lord we know you our lives are in you and that's all that matters so father today help us help us to be anchored in the rock in our rock eternal the Lord himself. Thank you for this. Thank you for your word. And thank you for your spirit who is at work within us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. God bless you, saints.